Hello, everybody. Welcome to Databricks in 5, a series where I try to explain a Databricks-related feature, concept, or capability in five minutes or less. Today, I'm going to be talking about Lakehouse Federation. Lakehouse Federation allows you to federate queries down to databases and data warehouses that is outside of Databricks. For example, let's say I have data that is sitting in a SQL Server database that is outside of Databricks, and I want to access that data without having to migrate the data, well, I can use Lakos Federation to query and use that data from inside of Databricks, even though that data isn't actually sitting in my data lake in Delta format. Lakos Federation supports a variety of sources, including SQL Server, Postgres, Snowflake, Synapse, Redshift, and more. But today I will be focusing on SQL Server for this demo. So in Azure, I have a SQL Server database, and it just has the AdventureWorks dataset that Microsoft includes when you need a sample dataset for SQL Server. So we have this product table, and maybe I want to use this table from inside of Databricks with a feature such as AIBI dashboards, but I don't want to have to actually move or copy this data. This is where Lakos Federation comes in. I can use this data from inside of Databricks, just like any other data that I have in Delta, but I don't need to move the data. So in Databricks, I'm going to click on the catalog option in the left menu. I'm going to click external data here, click the connections tab here, and then click create connection. Start off by giving it a name. I'll call it LG SQL Server, a connection type, in this case, I am choosing SQL Server, although you can see all of the different options you have available to yourself, and then the authentication type. For SQL Server, we have OAuth and username and password, but depending on the connection type, you may have more or less authentication type options. And hitting next, here we add the authentication to the SQL Server database. In this case, I will provide it a host name, the port, the username, and the password, since I chose to authenticate using a username and password. Okay, in step three on connection details, for the application intent, I'm going to say read only. And the reason why is Lakos Federation is not bi-directional. It only supports read only work. So I can read from SQL Server, but if I wanted to write to SQL Server, I would need something like a Spark connector or one of the other ways to write back. And then I'll hit create connection. So we can see here my connection has been created, and now I want to create a foreign catalog off of this connection. Now you can do both of these things, the connection and the foreign catalog at once, or I could have created the connection, exit out of here, and create the foreign catalog after. The foreign catalog is called foreign simply because the data doesn't actually exist in Databricks or in the data lake, and instead the data is sitting on a different platform. I'll keep the catalog name as LG SQL Server Catalog, use this connection that we just created, and the database name in Azure is LG underscore DB, and hit Create Catalog. So that was a success. And now what we can do is choose the access. So I'm okay if all workspaces have access, choose the owner, which will be myself, and we can grant or revoke privileges on this catalog. But I'll hit Next, add any tags or comments we want to the catalog. I'll skip this for now and hit Save. So now we can see that we have our foreign catalog. We can see here that the owner is myself, the type is foreign, and the connection is the LG SQL Server that we just created earlier. If you don't look at this about this catalog section here, this looks just like any other Unity catalog catalog in Databricks. We can see the sales LT schema in SQL Server, and if we click on this, we can see all of the different tables we have. So in SQL Server, we were using the product table, and here we can see we have the product table in Databricks. Now tables created with Lycos Federation has a lot of the same features and capabilities as native Delta tables. So we have the AI suggested description, we can see our columns, we can see the sample data, and what's really cool is we also have lineage. So we can see that in the lineage, that this table actually came from SQL Server. And if I created another table that read from this table, we would know that my downstream table is actually coming from SQL Server. Now, one thing to pay attention to when you use this data is that although I can write a SQL query against this table and I'll get results just like I would as if this was a Delta table, the query is actually being pushed down to the source system, such as SQL Server. So any large or complex or heavy duty queries won't benefit from the power of Databricks. And if you are regularly running 
heavy and complex queries on this data, it might be a good idea to create something like a materialized view on this table that when you then run it, will be able to give you the best results. But with all that being said, Lycos Federation is fully generally available. You just need Unity Catalog to use it. So I highly recommend trying it out for yourself and seeing all of the benefits it can bring.